Okay, welcome to Storm TV. It's our first edition of Ask Coach Higo. You can email your questions to askcoachhigo at gmail.com and we'll try to answer them every couple of weeks or so. First up, Coach, you and Assistant Coach Todd Warren have been in Grand Prairie since kind of the end of the summer. How are you settling in and getting to know the community? Uh, things have been good so far. Uh, we got up here probably early August, uh, so we've been here about three months and uh, settled in nicely. And, uh, tried to get to know the community as much as possible, uh, meet as many people as we could, and uh, it's been good so far. Good, good to hear. And, and that kind of leads us to our, our first question, and we had this one in various forms. So uh, have you and your staff been able to get involved with the local hockey community, like minor hockey or GPAC? And what have you seen, and what does that look like for you guys? Well, it's, it's been a busy time for both us and minor hockey. Um, we have... Uh, uh, put our team out there and then tried to make them as available as possible to uh, minor hockey teams. The guys haven't gotten out a whole bunch so far. Uh, we're hoping that's going to start soon. Uh, as a staff, we've been out quite a bit. We've been out with GPAC. Uh, Todd's been very busy with the goalies. Uh, we've already done our first Hockey Alberta Coaches Night where uh, some coaches came to uh, our pregame and our postgame uh, talks with the guys. So uh, we're trying to get as active as possible and uh, get, get out in the community. Okay, great. The, uh, the next question we had is, well, the storm has struggled the last couple of years. Sure. And lots of Oiler fans, <laughs> like myself, in this neck of the woods, we've heard the word rebuild. Is that where the storm are at? Um, how long do you see that taking, and, and, and what's your plan there? Well, I don't know if it's if we want to use the word rebuild. Um, we're just going through a process of uh, uh, thorough evaluation of, of the, the whole organization. I mean, all the way from... Uh, where we stay, uh, our daily routine, um, our scouting, um, our day-to-day -day operations. Uh, I think if you look at the changes that have happened in the past, uh, probably three, four weeks, uh, we've gotten a lot younger, so I'm sure that's why the rebuilding word is being used. Um, but, it, I mean, we're still in that evaluation process. and I don't think we're that far off from where we want to be. Um, is it going to take time? For sure it's going to take some time. Uh, but the objective of the group is, is to get better, uh, be a competitive team, and not just in a short-term situation, but more of in a long-term. Okay, perfect. Uh, one more question, and this fits in. Some of the guys are starting to work out, do some running this morning. They'll be on the ice shortly. But what does the average day look like for a player? Are these guys rolling out of bed at noon and kind of casually going about the day? or What are the expectations? Well, I think if you ask these guys, they'd prefer that. But uh, <laughs> uh, for the most part, uh, the guys are pretty hectic. Uh, you look at, say, our Monday, for example, uh, guys were here at, uh, at 9.30 for the check-in. A lot of them skated uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. They did power skating in the morning from from 10.15 to 11.15. Some of the guys run the stairs. Some of them ride the bike. Uh, then they're able to go home and uh, get a bite to eat. They're back for practice. Uh, and then on Mondays and Tuesdays, they were at VO2 Max for a 7.30 to 8.30 workout. Uh, and then we have the different guys that go to school. Um, some of them go to college. Uh, some of them are going to high school. Game days are, are pretty hectic as well um, because the guys have to go to school, do all that other kind of stuff, and they're here basically from about 5.30 till 10.30, 11 o'clock uh, until they leave the game. So the days of rolling out of bed and uh, just being a one or two hour guy at the rink uh, for junior A hockey is gone. It, uh, they lead a busy life, a hectic life, but it's also a life that's going to prepare them uh, for, for further on in their lives. Perfect. Thanks, Coach. Your storm are home this weekend, including Halloween night, Drum Howler Dragons will be in town and the Storm at Home Saturday night as well. If you have a question for Coach Higo, you can email it to askcoachhigo at gmail.com. We'll do Storm TV every couple of weeks.